Hi, kids. So, a couple of things. One thing I forgot to do is we're going to explain the whole hover puck thing in a minute, but one thing I forgot to do is talk about what this means by a... We talked about what a net force means. A net force just means you add all the forces that are acting on it up. So, like, it's the net effect you get when you add all the forces up. So, in this case, you know, if I have the table and the force of gravity, if they're going opposite ways they're going to cancel each out, other out, so the net force is zero, okay? <clears throat> but if I'm talking about an outside force, here's what I mean by this, okay? Let's say you have an object at rest. The object at rest is your car. So I'm going to draw an amazing picture of your car. Here is your doo -doo 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 car, okay? Um, I know, I minored in art, don't forget. Okay, um, and let's say your car has run out of gas. So your car is at rest, and it's staying at rest. But you know what? You need to get your car to the gas station, so you don't want your object at rest, the car, to stay at rest. So you are going to push on the car, because you remember, well, if I don't want an object to stay at rest... You know, if I want to change its state of motion, I have to apply a force to that. So, so that you are, here you are inside your car, but you decide you are going to stay inside your car and push on the dashboard. Well, guess what? That would be really awesome to watch and fun to watch, but that is not going to get your car going forward. Why? Because you are part of the car. You are inside the car. Okay, that is not what's considered an outside force. You're a part of that car system. So to get your car to, you know, not stay at rest, to change its state of motion, you would have to actually get outside the car and push on the car. Why? Because then now you are supplying an outside force. So that's really what I mean by an outside force. It's, it's identifying what is the system and then you have to have a force outside that. Okay, so... But that's outside force. All right. So you watch the hover puck thing. So let's let's go through this whole idea of what's going on with the hover puck. Okay. So at first, the hover puck was just sitting here on the ground. Okay. And yeah, and you should be writing this down. An object at rest is staying at rest. Well, why was an object at rest staying at rest? Well, because you had the force of the ground pushing up on the hover puck and the force of gravity was pushing down on the, or pulling down on the hover puck, and these two forces canceled each other out, so the net force was zero. So you should write something like, hey, the hover puck was at rest, it stayed at rest. Why did it stay at rest? Because these two forces canceled each other out, causing the net force to be zero. Okay. Then, we had the hover puck move along the ground. Okay, without the air on. So it was... I'm going to use V for like speed or velocity, but it's moving that way, okay? Remember, speed is not a force, okay? And this is after it left my hand. After it left my hand, here are the forces that are acting. You had the force of the ground. You had the force of gravity again. And these two forces cancel each other out. And then, what What was there? Oh, yeah, there was friction acting on it. Which way was the friction going? Well, friction always goes against the motion. So in this case, the friction was pointing this way. So my net force was equal to the force of friction pointing this way. And guess what? Okay. If the net force is not zero, because that's what it says up here, if unless acted on by a net outside force, well... This thing was in motion. Why did it not stay in motion? Because there was a net outside force acting on it. Okay? Now, when we put the air on, you got something that looked like this. Here is my picture. So I had... Whoa, do you like that? See, see how it's hovering? I know. I'm an amazing artist. I, I did minor in art. So if I draw the forces acting on it now, well, I have the force of the air holding it up. And I have the force of gravity down. Now, and we're going to talk more about friction later on, but if you would like to, you know, do a little experiment with friction, put your hands together and then rub them back and forth. Okay, and you can feel some friction. Okay, in fact, if you go even faster, you can feel more friction. Okay, 
or if you push harder. Now, hold your hands a little bit, you know, apart from each other, so there's air between them, and rub them back and forth. Oh yeah, there's no friction, okay? So that if this object is moving to the right, okay, hey, well guess what? My net force is going to be zero. These two forces are gonna cancel. So therefore, an object in motion stays in motion. Yes, I know, it's pretty cool. Bye kids.